Hey friends, on today's video, we are going to be looking at how to use this Presta valve adapter on your bike. It's really easy and I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step. My name is Scott, welcome to the garage. So we are going to be working on my 2017 specialized enduro mountain bike. Now, again, this process is going to work very, very similar with each type of bike that uses a Presta valve. I'm currently running a tubeless setup, meaning I don't have an inner tube in my tire, uh, but I have a Presta valve that allows air to get in to the tire and fill it up. Now, let's take a look really quick at this Schrader valve. Now this is an old mountain bike, as you can see, that has a Schrader inner tube. And again, this is kind of that old school style that most people are familiar with. Let me go back over to the Presta valve and I'll show you really quick why Presta valves offer a little bit more convenience as far as regulating the amount of PSI in your tires. Okay, so the reason why Presta valves are a little more user friendly when it comes to regulating the amount of pressure in your tire is that they have this really easy ability to regulate the pressure by just pushing down on the top of that little valve. So again, I can release air very easily with a Schrader valve. You have to really get in there with like a screwdriver or another pointed object in order to release air. One of the other features of a Presta valve is that when it's closed, it really does add extra protection against unintentional air release. Now this is a modern floor pump. And as you can see on the end of the regulator here, I can actually use this to fill up either the Schrader or the Presta valve simply by putting this onto that Presta tip with it open, closing up this valve, and then again, I can just use a floor pump. Mine is specifically designed to be able to be used with Presta or Schrader. Again, you may have a floor pump that is only set up to use that Schrader, which is where our adapter comes into play. So here is our little adapter. Again, these things can be purchased at a bike shop for like less than a dollar, or you can go on Amazon and get a whole pack of them for like five bucks shipped. Once you have these, again, they're very, very easy to insert. Just make sure your press valve is in the open position to allow air in. And we're just gonna put this on top and we're gonna screw it down into place. Once you feel it tight, this is ready now to receive air via your normal floor pump. Now, even though I have a floor pump that can fill up a Presta valve, I actually really like to use this Ryobi digital inflator. It's a power inflator. It's great. I just throw this in my truck and I can get a digital readout on my PSI so I can get really, really accurate. But unfortunately, this is only designed to be used with those Schrader valves. So I have to have my little adapter here. But again, with it on and that Presta valve open, I can just put this on close up that valve, and then I'm ready to fill this thing. So watch this. So I can get really accurate readings digitally for the exact PSI that I need for this bike. Okay, this is kind of a preference thing, but once I'm done inflating, I'll actually take off the adapter and I'll close that little nozzle back up on the Presta valve. Again, just kind of creating a double seal. You can then store your Schrader adapter on your bike, just like that, or stick it in a backpack or a pocket or your tool bench to be used later. Friends, I hope that's helped. If it has, would you guys hit that thumbs up button? Let us know we're making helpful videos. And you also might want to subscribe because we've got a bunch more stuff from the garage coming up real, real soon. Thanks so much for watching.